Hello friends, today we are going to see how to create a binary search tree. So let's see. So here these are the given elements and from these elements we are going to create a binary search tree. So in a binary search tree if the value of the element is less than or equal to its parent then that element becomes the left child of its parent. So if the value is less than or equal to parent then that becomes the left child and if the value is greater than parent then that becomes the right child. Okay. So as it is written here see make the first value as the root means the first value will be the root of the binary search tree. So see here is the root of the binary search tree and from the second element we will check every element with its parent. So see for i equal to 1 to n if the value that is a of i means if you have been given an array in this array these are the elements. So if a of i means now for the first element so see here this is the index 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. So now if a of 1 that is 16 is less than or equal to the node. Node means its parent. Okay. So see whether 16 is less than 13. No it is not. So we will go to the second condition. So else go to right. So if it is not less than or equal to the parent that means it is greater than the parent. So we will go to the right. Okay. So let's make this binary search tree. So see 16 will go to the right because it is the greater element than 13. Now for 6 see 6 is less than 13. So 6 goes to the left of 13 okay now let's go to the next element that is 10 so check whether 10 is less than 13 yes it is less than 13 so come to the left child of 13 but there is an element present at the left child of 13 here okay so compare 10 with that element so whether 10 is less than 6? No, it is greater than 6. So, it will become the right child of 6. Right? So, see here, as I have written here, start every comparison from root. Means for every element, you have to start comparison from root. Okay? So, next element 2. So, check again. 2 is less than 13, less than 6. So, it will come to the left of 6. Now, 4. So, check. 4 is less than 13, less than 6, but greater than 2. So, 4 will come here. Now, 21. So, check. 21 is greater than 13 and greater than 16. See, for every element, I am comparing from the root right now 18 18 is greater than 13 greater than 16 and less than 21 now 20 see 20 is greater than 13 greater than 16 less than 21 but greater than 18 so 20 will come here okay as the right child of 18 now 3, 3 is less than 13, less than 6, greater than 2 and less than 4. So it will come as the left child of 4. Now 5, 5 is less than 13, less than 6, greater than 2, greater than 4. So it will come at the right child of 4. See, you have to keep making comparisons till you find a null place 
to keep that value or to keep that node. Now, last element 17, greater than 13, greater than 16, less than 21, less than 18. Okay, so here is 17. So, this binary search tree is ready now. So, this is how we make a binary search tree. So, as it is written here, see, if the element is less than or equal to node, while you compare, you have to go to left till that place is null for that element. Means, till you get a place to keep that element, you have to keep comparing and you have to keep following less than or equal to and greater than. Okay. So, see. If it is less than or equal to node, you have to keep going to the left. If it is not less than or equal to node, means if it is greater than its parent or greater than the node, you have to go to right till it is null, till you find the place to keep that element. Okay. So, this is how you form a binary search tree. In our next video, we will see the code to prepare a binary search tree in detail.